Hey guys, today I'm going to show you, yes you, how to build awesome follow-up automations using an embedded multi-line dialer inside of High Level. Right after this video, you'll be able to trigger follow-up automations using a multi-line dialer and be able to uh, have the follow-up of your dreams, okay? Let's go. I'm gonna show you how to do text today based on when people don't answer the phone, okay? So here in um, agency view, right here, we have admin call dispositions. Uh, this is what we're going to be using to actually do the automation or trigger those workflows that will send the text. Specifically today, we're going to look at no answer and left voicemail because if someone isn't answering, that means that they're going to get that no answer tag or they're going to get the left voicemail tag. And we want the same thing to happen as a result of both of those things. So let's close out of this and then let's go to our uh, automations. Okay, well, first here in opportunities, if you remember, we can call from these different stages of the pipeline. It's super nice. It's a good way to keep track of all of your different leads. So what I wanna do is after I've called this person, like these people will have already not answered one time. I want to call them again. And if they don't answer again, I wanna send them a text. It's like, hey, I'm just checking up on you. Just Or hey, I wanna you know, talk to you about your life insurance policy or help you sell your house or you know, make sure you have the solar that you need. Any sort of industry that you're in, um, you can make this work for you. So here, um, let's go ahead and look at automations. If you don't know how to do this automation, watch my other video because I take everyone step by step on how to build it. So here inside of automations, we're going to go here and then no answer right here. Okay. So this automation looks like it's like something crazy, but it really, really isn't. It's super simple. It's just adding and removing tags. Again, watch the video if you want to find out more about how to do that. So right here, um, we could add another text that goes out. So that column that we we're looking at, you can see I've already added some text right here. Um, but right here, this no answer one. So right here, we dump, we're dump we dumping leads into the new lead pile. When they get added to the CRM, they're getting the new lead tag and they're being added to this workflow um, or to this pipeline that we were looking at before. And right here, this no answer one. So I call everyone in the new lead column and then they get tagged with the no answer one if they don't answer. And now if I call them again, um, right now they're just being moved to the no answer two column. Maybe I could add in a text, right? Okay, so let's do it. So what I'm gonna do first, I've been adding a wait step just because I don't um, want to like overdo it um, and just have so many people getting crammed in at once because we are multi-line dialing. That could be a lot for the system. So we just wanna make sure that there is a wait in there. Um, I don't know if you actually have to do that. You probably don't have to. Make sure you're saving your work, by the way. Okay, so SMS, oh, not DMD, SMS. Send SMS. And then right here, you can say whatever you want. Um, I'm just gonna say, hi, this is a test just because we are testing this. But you could say, hey, you scheduled or you asked about this thing. We're just trying to get a hold of you to talk to you about it. Um, okay, make sure to save that. And then let's go back to the workflows and, or sorry, I'm mixing up my words today. Let's go back to opportunities. And these are all of the people now where if I call them, then they should be getting that text and then they'll be moved over to the no answer to column. And remember, we did put that wait time in there. So it's not gonna automatically be moving people over like what was happening before, right? Before we call them and they just be moved over, but now we have that wait and we have the text that's going out. So I'm going to click call and I'm going to connect. Then I'm going to start dialing. And none of these people are gonna answer. Uh, I actually wanna pause this. Just so you know, when you pause, it's gonna finish these calls and then it won't keep calling. But I accidentally have my IVR opt-out is really high, or not IVR. Oh, guys, mixing up my words. I have my ring timeout really high and I wanna do it a little bit lower for the sake of timing. So let this go through. None of them are going to answer. And then we'll be triggering that automation. Okay, cool. 
I'm gonna hit resume. And now it won't call each contact as long. So we can get through the list faster. Okay, so we're gonna let that keep calling and then we are going to wait a minute. I'm just gonna cut the video for the sake of time and then we'll go in and see how the texts have been sent, okay? So everyone's been moved over. All of those people that were moved over, they're down at the bottom of the column. If you remember, there were some people at the top. So usually if I'm dialing, I'll start on this end and call through so everyone's been moved over. That person just moved over, you saw that. So let's go down here and see um, the text that went out. Okay, hi, this is a test, cool. And then they got moved over. So that's awesome. Um, it didn't send because I haven't purchased a number to actually be sending text messages. So this is a test, but, um, yeah, that's how that worked. So you can do a bunch of different things with this. You could be sending texts, you can be sending emails, um, whatever, whatever you can dream up inside of your head. But yeah, the idea is to obviously streamline your sales so that if you have an appointment setter or if you're making calls, you don't waste time doing a lot of manual actions, right? You can just be calling and have everything programmed to be working for you. You can also set it up inside of your automation so that when someone responds, um, it takes them out of this workflow. You can move them into a different pipeline. That's the beautiful thing about high level is you can really make whatever happen that you want to happen. So yeah, you're the architect of your sales process. Hiccup, sorry. Okay. Anyways, hope you guys have a great, great day. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you guys later.